next question. Uh, <coughs> the next question is, do you think low-dose naltrexone helps with type 1 diabetes or Hashimoto's? Uh, it's interesting that I was taking, uh, I actually have a patent on the use of low-dose naltrexone for the treatment of overeating. Uh, I won't go into the history of how I discovered this, but uh, if you gave a very small dose, uh, four and a half milligrams at bedtime, we could curb carbohydrate craving for some people. Uh, it wasn't a large number, but it was enough so that I applied for a patent. And then I let it lapse uh, after something like 15 years <laughs> because I wasn't making any money on it and it was costing me $600 to renew it every few years. Um, <clears throat> but I had heard from another physician who was using uh, naltrexone for uh, prevention of bre breast cancer that he had had some success in patients with lymphoma. This was about 20 years ago. So since I have lymphoma, I started taking naltrexone every night, four and a half milligrams. And I'm a diabetic, so if it were, and I also am hypothyroid. So if it was going to make any difference to my diabetes or my hypothyroidism, uh, I was taking it, I was taking it for years I finally stopped about six months ago. Um, <clears throat> may have been a mistake from the point of view of my lymphoma, uh, which seems stable, uh, but uh, I, I see no reason to use uh, naltrexone for the treatment of diabetes. Okay. There's no evidence anywhere. <clears throat> 